Hey everyone, in this tutorial we are going to start building a simple POS project. Okay, um, it's going to be based on the stuff we have covered so far. So, um, I drew up a simple diagram that will give you a general idea how the things will appear and how will they go. So first of all, let's talk about the UI a little bit. So I'm going to have a main window with two columns on left hand side actually let's talk about the right hand side so right hand side will have the uh, tab control with four tab pages and each one of these will be um, represented by these classes so we'll have sandwiches here cheeses here veggies on the third one and payment on the last one so it's going to be right to left direction uh, the reason being, just in case somebody has a touch screen and want to test out, that way it may be easier to go from right to left, unless the person is left-handed. In that case, you might want to swap it out. Um, on the right, I mean on the left side, we'll have the list box for the order. Okay, again, these are our classes here that we're going to create and some properties so the sandwich will have id name price image cheese will have id name image veggie will have id name image the order will have an id and order total and the payment will have an id date time order id and amount paid um data wise we'll be using xml data okay all right, so that being said, let's go ahead and fire up the Visual Studio and uh, start building. Okay, so here we are in Visual Studio and we are ready to create our application. So we have selected WPF.NET Framework and we're going to select Next. You can select from here or from here, shouldn't matter. Uh, let's hit Next. And let's call this Joe's Sandwiches. Okay, let's hit Create. Oh, we are almost there. It's taking its sweet time. All right. Our project is ready to be built. So let's let me flip my paints since that's my favorite way of doing things. Uh, if you like the horizontal way, that's fine. I feel more comfortable with this. So, okay. Um, we're going to start actually adding some classes. Okay, before we start with our classes, let's do a couple tweaks here. First of all, I'm going to change this title to Joe's Sandwiches.
And next, I like to um, set the window startup position to center screen. Okay. That's going to allow the application to start at the center of the screen versus the left or right. Okay, so let's run this for uh, once. And make sure it builds. Okay, perfect. All right, so now let's go to our code behind file and start adding our classes. And let's start with some cleaning here. Let's read off some of these unused statements. So I'm going to remove unnecessary using statements and get rid of this comment here. Okay. So uh, our first class is going to be sandwich. Okay, this is going to have um, property type of and the, the first one would be ID. Uh, let's add a few more. The second one is going to be name. And the third one is going to be, I think, price. Price and image. Okay. So the price will be decimal. And uh, let's call this price and um, string image okay first class is ready to go let's add the second and we need cheese veggies these two pretty much same let's add those real quick so public class cheese uh, two properties, I believe we have. So ID and image. That's going to be string. Image. All right. So that's ready. Let's add veggies. Public class veggie. And let's copy and paste this to actually. Okay, and uh, the next one would be order. That'd be ID order total. ID order total, okay. So, public, whoopsie. Public class order. And uh, we need a hint ID. And uh, string, what is string? Yeah, actually decimal. It's my bad. Decimal or the total. Okay, that's ready. And the last one would be payment. That would be ID, date, and time. Order ID and amount paid. Okay. So public class payment. Prop ID. Prop tap tap. And we got we got put a mess up going on here. Let's take care of that. Okay. Date and time, order ID, and amount paid. So that's going to be date and time. Let's call this timestamp. And uh, let's 
Tık. Order ID command paid. So end order ID and prop decimal amount paid. Okay. All right, so our classes are ready. Let's actually collapse these classes and uh, wrap with a section so that we can save some space. So I'm going to do a control KS and add a region. So let's call this classes. Okay, now we can even collapse a little more and save some more space. Okay, so the class is good to go. Let's wrap these classes with a region. Let's collapse them first. You don't have to collapse them, but it makes it easier to select all of them at once. So I'm going to go Control KS and add a region and call this classes payment comma order comma veggies comma cheese. You get the picture. Let's understand it. Okay, let's collapse this a little more. And save even more space. Okay. All right. So next, we're going to set up our data parts, where we our classes interact with the XML data. Okay. So let's create a public static class. And let's call this XML data. Okay, and here I'm going to create a method that's going to create a few files for us. Uh, public static void. Oopsie. It's called create files. All right. I'm going to create a string array of this file name, so let's say string files equals, and let's type in payment, comma, order, comma, veggie, comma, cheese, and sandwich. These are file names. And uh, then, so for each, for each string file theme files, we want to uh, create a new X document. So var X doc equals new X document. We're not gonna pass anything in here. Uh, next, we want to add a root element. X doc dot add. Oops. Add, and that's going to be a new X element called root. So the root element will be called root. Pretty easy. Okay, and then we'll say uh, exact.save. Um, so here is going to, here's, this is going to be the file name part, so we need to get the file here and then add an XML to it. So 
uh, file plus dot XML. All right, so uh, we can call this from our structure here. So XML data and create files. So if, so if we were on this, we should be able to see the files created in our application directory. So let's go into Joe's sandwiches. Let's go to bin and debug folder and let's watch here and run the application at the same time. And we got our five files created for us. Okay. And they include the root element. Each one of them include the root element and declaration and encoding, all that good stuff. Okay. Let's keep going. 